Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be reviewing shorts for summer. So I have a variety of different styles to share today. I'll be sharing some denim styles, I'll be sharing some linen styles, and then a couple more sporty looking options. So that way, if you're looking for different styles of shorts, hopefully um, you'll see some good ideas or pieces in this video. And all these pieces are from different price ranges. So half of the items are budget friendly and the other half are investment pieces. So I really tried my best to get a variety of different styles and share things at all different price points. So as far as denim brands, I got three styles of budget-friendly pieces and then I got three styles of investment denim shorts. So the three budget-friendly options is what I want to share first. So it's from Abercrombie. I got three different styles from them and these are the 90s relaxed cutoff shorts. So I got these in the curve love fit and they also come in a regular fit. What I love about the curve love fit is that they really snatch at the waist here and but in a comfortable way like they really just sit right at my natural waistline. It's just perfect and then they leave more room in the hips and thighs right here and my personal personal style preference for shorts is fitted at the waistline and then I love them looser around the thigh. I think you guys know that I hate tight shorts around the thighs. I don't want to feel like a sausage so I need them to be loose around the thighs. It's just a lot more comfortable. I feel like it's really flattering for my shape. So that's the first style of the Abercrombie shorts. I love these so 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 much. So next style is the mom short high rise um, and this is also in the curve love and I got this in this like dark darker medium wash color. So right off the bat, these are a little bit shorter compared to the previous, the 90s short. And these have like a split on the side. Um, they also, both styles come in lots of colors. And then I'm wearing these in the curve love, but they also do come in regular fit too. So again, the difference between the curve and the regular fit is that you get more room in the thighs with curve love. And then it's a little bit more smaller at the waistline. Whereas the regular fit is like the opposite. You have a little bit more room in the waistline, but it's tighter around the thighs. Um, I got a style that is in the regular fit, which I'll try on for you next. The one and only con I could think of with the Abercrombie shorts is that they do ride up. And I think this style rides up the most, but for the price, I honestly think it's worth it because they, they honestly do feel like the over $100 shorts that I have here that I'm gonna show you guys next. They are so comparable to the designer shorts um, that I'm gonna share with you guys so the next Abercrombie style is this one this is the four inch mom short so these are the longest length compared to the previous two that I shared and okay this is like literally the exact fit I don't like it's like the exact opposite of what I want that's why I still have the tags on I'm going to return these but I know everybody has different body types so I wanted you guys to see these on me because it may work for other women um it's just not my preferred fit I would say quality is fantastic like nothing wrong with the quality of it it's just not my preferred fit so this is a regular and the four inch mom short I think this also comes in a curve love but I really wanted to try the regular fit so you guys can see how it looks like on me um so it is really loose around the waist you can tell here i'm even wearing a bodysuit that has two layers so it kind of fills in that gap a little bit but if i were to wear just like a basic tee it would be even loose around the waist but even like this it's like big gap around my waistline it's tight around my thighs so i feel like a straight up sausage in this um so it's not really the fit i like and i always mention abercrombie does sales like all the time so wait for the weekend um and then maybe they'll have some sales going on for their shorts so you definitely should be able to um save some money by waiting for a sale i definitely don't recommend paying full price just knowing that they run sales pretty much every single weekend okay so now i want to start sharing the premium designer jean shorts so first off are these girlfriend jean shorts. These are really good, you guys. They're absolutely wonderful. I love how they're fitted right at the waistline. Uh, they have some room in the thighs. They're a little bit longer in length. Um, no distressing. I love this light wash color. I feel like it's so classic. And what I really love is that these do not ride up. I think this is the biggest difference comparing the designer shorts to the Abercrombie ones is that 
the designer versions they do not write up which is so nice because it makes it a lot comfortable to wear throughout the day i would say like the quality and fit um is definitely fantastic i mean i feel like these are higher quality um they feel like more durable thicker i feel like the premium designer shorts uh they really hold their shape they don't really stretch out or look very worn in so anyways i love this style if you have the budget for it and you really like them highly recommend them i think they're fantastic okay next up i have two styles of a goldies i really wanted to try out and compare to like Abercrombie shorts and the girlfriend ones um almost every blogger influencer content creator that I watch and follow they rave about a goldie I gotta be honest I'm not like so in love with them I love the Abercrombie shorts way more than I love the a goldies honestly and it's probably just because of fit preference um so these that I'm wearing here are pretty short these are the shortest shorts that I'm sharing today I feel like when I walk, you can kind of see a little bit of cheek back there, which is not really for me. Um, these are loose around the waist uh, and like a little bit tight around the thighs. It's not too bad and maybe they'll stretch over time, but gotta be real, you guys. I definitely love the Abercrombie shorts more, the first and the second version that I shared, I really love those. It's hard to beat those for me. Okay, so the last denim jean style to review are a pair of Goldies. These are the longest length jean shorts out of everything I shared today. I mean, I feel like you can clearly tell I had to like step back further. <laughs> um, they're definitely longer. They're a little bit loose around the thighs, but I do feel like they're a little bit big around the waistline for me, but not as loose as just the previous of Goldies that I shared. Um, these are also super popular, highly recommended, raved about by a lot of content creators, so I decided to try them out. Um, again, I really like them, but I do love the Abercrombies more, uh, which honestly is pretty refreshing because the Abercrombie ones are definitely uh, a lot more affordable, so that's nice. But um, these, I think they look so beautiful in the back pockets, and then they also have a button fly. The other other designer shorts that I just shared, those also have a button fly. Only the Abercrombies have a zipper fly. I also wanted to mention again, the thing with the premium designer jean shorts is that they really hold their shape. Um, they don't stretch out that much. I feel like another thing with the Abercrombie shorts, they add some stretch to it. So they definitely kind of stretch out and I feel like look a little bit more worn in. Um, faster compared to like the premium designer shorts so that's just like another thing i noticed between the two anyways just depending on what your budget is what your style preference is hopefully uh seeing these different jean short options was helpful um i do think the quality and all of them is fantastic uh just the fit is different and then you can just choose what's best for you so anyways um moving on to some different styles now so i am so excited about these uh blue shorts these paper bag shorts I am not really into wearing a lot of color you guys already know that but if I do wear color I love baby blue I love light blue I think it's so beautiful especially paired with white I love it on my skin tone too so I decided to try these out these are from revolve so this is like a splurgy option for a more classier looking short these are very light and airy um, loose around the thighs fitted at the waist I love how it comes with a little belt um, you can even wear it without the belt and I still think it look really cute they are slightly pleated um in the front the only con about this is i feel like the pockets kind of stick out a little bit as if you can tell they kind of just stick out a bit um so that's like a little con Aside from that, they're fantastic. I feel like the length is great. Um, I don't think they're that cheeky. Okay, so then for a budget-friendly, like, classy short, I've been sharing these for probably a couple months now. It's these linen shorts by Uniqlo. I love them so much. They are so easy to pull on, take off. I feel like these are great with, again, body suits, or you can even wear them under swimsuits for the summertime. Very light, loose, and airy, and uh, quality is also fantastic. They come in many colors, and I think these are priced at under $30. So I think that's so reasonable and fair. The waistband is nice and stretchy. I'm wearing these in an extra small, and I love how they fit so much. Okay, so next up is another pair of linen shorts that I wanted to share, and these are an investment piece. So these are from Revolve, pretty expensive, um, but... I freaking love them, you guys. They are so beautiful. So again, if it's in your budget, 
Oh my gosh, these are so good. And for white, it is so hard to find white linen shorts that are not see-through. I didn't try the Uniqlo version of their linen shorts in white, so I don't know if they're see-through or not. However, uh, these ones that I picked up from Revolve, I love these because they're a little bit shorter, loose around the thigh. I love the belts that it comes with. I think it's so classy. The only thing is, is that on the side here it just doesn't reach all the way to the loop back here um so i have to just secure it with uh double-sided fashion tape but that is honestly not a big issue and it has a zipper in the back to get in and out of the short they're also pleated that's another thing i really love i love pleated shorts i feel like they're so classy and so feminine the uniqlo versions they're not pleated they're pretty simple looking but these have um a lot more like detail to it a little bit more work it has the belt with it they're pleated um i love the fit of these two i'm wearing them in a size extra small so i know these are expensive but to me they are totally worth it i think they are so classy so stunning and very comfortable so if it's in your budget i highly recommend these i think these are just absolutely wonderful okay and then the last investment short that i wanted to share so i shared these already so many times i think i purchased these actually back in january um and they still sell them at Revolve. They are another pair of really classy, very silky shorts. These are definitely like the flowiest out of everything I shared today. I mean, they really like flow and move. <laughs> Um, and they're pleated, super sleek, very classy. I think they are so wonderful. I love the longer length. I paired these with like trench coats before, wore them with just like a basic top um, and even blouses they look beautiful with. I think these are so, so, so stunning. Okay, so this next option is like a sporty short, long in the back, a little bit shorter here. They're kind of curved. They have a pocket, very stretchy um, and they have a lining on the inside, like an underwear liner. And I love these as like a sporty option. I feel like these are great to wear on like really casual days or if you are just hanging out at home. Um, this is great for those really hot days or just going for walks. I think these are great. These are from Amazon, so very inexpensive. I actually have them in three colors. So this black one, uh, a gray color and white. They are so amazing. These remind me so much of like Lululemon shorts, but honestly, I feel like these are better, especially the price is just so much better too. And last year, especially, I wore them to death literally every single day. This and like a t-shirt was my uniform almost every day. <laughs> um, so these hold up so well so highly 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 recommend them okay then the last shorts are kind of similar to the previous ones so these have a more casual look casual feel to them but they are longer in length uh compared to the amazon versions and these are more high-waisted and i feel like these are a great mix between casual and you can dress them up if you want to too i feel like the amazon ones i purely just look good casually because they have that sporty material on them and these feel like uh, uh, casual but yet you can dress them up too which is so cool so i feel like these are great mom approved quality is incredible i think these are priced at 39 dollars too so super fairly priced and the quality is so good actually i feel like the pricing is beyond fair for what the quality of this is like truly just really really good i feel like i wouldn't be surprised if these were priced higher so the fact that they're 39 bucks is honestly like amazing all right you guys so that is it for this video that was 12 different styles of shorts for the summertime that i wanted to review and share with you guys so half of them were investment pieces and then the other half um are budget friendly so i really hope you enjoyed enjoyed seeing the variety of different styles here if you happen to be interested in anything uh it's all linked down below along with sizing details and if you're new don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye